Path of Power Chapter 7 Overconfident after killing his first zombie And awakening his new innate ability, Marshall got himself in a pickle that could have cost him his life. After hearing the groans, Marshall sensed that he would be in danger if he did not move to safety. Usually, Marshall would heed the warning, but after awakening his innate ability and falling into the trance-like state of mind, he felt invincible. He felt like nothing in this world could get in his way to stop him from accomplishing his goals, and Marshall welcomed the new challenge. Time passed as Marshall waited for the zombies to come to him, while at the same time centering himself and keeping calm. All the while, his sense of danger was ringing in his ears non-stop. It was an annoying feeling, but he chose to ignore it completely. Marshall turned to face the new zombies when they were about 30 feet away from him. When he laid eyes on the new zombies, his confidence waned. For zombies were coming toward him at the same time. Marshall initially believed there were only two of them. Earlier, when he faced his first zombie, although he was scared, it was not that hard to kill it. So, when Marshall believed it would only be two zombies he would be going against, he thought it would only be slightly harder to win. That was why he was so overly confident. Marshall did not waste time getting off the cold ground. Even with his confidence grazed, he was still looking forward to the challenge. About 20 feet across from Marshall, the zombies seemed to have caught sight of him. They did not waste time trying to reach their prey. Holding his metal bar tightly, Marshall watched every action the zombies took. All four zombies were different in how they moved, which made the speed at which the zombies closed in on him different. What kind of shit did I myself into, Marshall could not help but mutter to himself. It did not take more than seven seconds before the first zombie was upon him. Thwack! Marshall swung his bat at the zombie's knee, hoping it would go down like the first zombie he fought. That did not go as planned since he had three more zombies to pay attention to. Marshall only hit the zombie's thigh. The zombie stumbled to the ground due to the hit. Before Marshall could finish killing the zombie, another zombie was already in front of him. Marshall had no choice but to jump out of the way. Lucky for him, the second zombie ran into the first zombie falling to the ground. Marshall quickly glanced at the two fallen zombies before deciding to focus on the last two zombies. A triple A A A A A A A The zombies' groans entered Marshall's unwilling ears as the two slower zombies closed on him. The two zombies tried attacking his head at the same time. Marshall had no choice but to dodge to his left. With his heart pumping fast, he barely got out of the way. The two zombies' attacks were faster than their running speed. Reacting faster than humanly possible, Marshall turned around and swung his bat at one of the zombies' heads. He missed completely. The zombies were going too fast for him to attack. Suddenly Marshall felt a sense of danger coming from the back of his neck. Before even turning around, Marshall jumped away from the feeling of danger. When Marshall had the chance to turn around, he saw one of the fallen zombies had gotten off the ground to attack him. Marshall also saw the other fallen zombie trying to get up. Not wanting to miss the chance to eliminate one of the zombies, Marshall ran to the fallen zombie. Whack! Whack! From one of the old zombie movies Marshall had seen, he did not forget to double tap. With one zombie dead, he only had to face three zombies. Marshall's waning confidence was starting to come back, but his time, he did not let it get to his head. Thwack! After more than five minutes of fighting, Marshall killed his last zombie. It was a bittersweet win. Bitter since he was too overconfident in his abilities and sweet for winning such an unnecessary battle. Looking around him, Marshall saw all the zombies he had to fight and kill. It was a gruesome sight making his stomach rumble and almost causing him to throw up. Not wanting to be by the dead zombies, Marshall walked away. After taking about 10 steps toward his home, 
His knees buckled from exhaustion, almost making him fall hard to the cold ground. Marshall held on strong, but his tired hands almost lost grip of his bat. Marshall had no choice but to sit down and catch his breath. Not much later, Marshall got off the cold ground and slowly walked toward his room. He had not fully recovered and was still honestly dead tired, but his survival instincts were in full gear. If he was unlucky and had to fight zombies again, he would die in his current condition. It did not take long before Marshall was close to his open window. When he reached his window, Marshall immediately wanted to go inside to rest, but remembered he had just killed a few zombies. Marshall wanted to clean the bat as soon as he remembered. While trying to see how dirty the bat was, Marshall noticed the bat was squeaky clean. Though presently surprised, he was too tired to really care. With that out of the way, Marshall put the bat inside the room before entering through the window. As soon as he was inside his room, Marshall closed the window behind him. He was not going to leave it open like an idiot. Meow. Marshall turned to face the kitten. He bent down to stroke the little kitten. He forgot the kitten was weary towards him. Instead of moving away from Marshall, the little kitten allowed him to caress it about five times before it moved away. Marshall smiled as he got up. He could be mad at the kitten, but there was no need to. At least he got to pat it. As soon as Marshall saw his comfy bed, he wanted to do nothing more than lay his head to rest, but too bad he had to shower first. Dragging his weary body to the shower, Marshall did not forget his bat. While the bat was blood-free to be completely safe, he wanted to clean it. Twenty minutes later, Marshall was sleeping with the kitten on his bed. He was too tired to remember to meditate with the bat. If you got this far, thank you. Like and subscribe for more.